<laughs> Where did you find it? My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook. Sometimes I go picking with my boyfriend, sometimes it's my best friend Sue, and sometimes it's my kids. But at the end of the day, it's all about having fun and hopefully just maybe making a profit. Sue and I are on the hunt still for our new favorite weekly restaurant and my brother gave us a suggestion. It's actually funny at this point, <laughs> but... So we had to get the camera out. We're, we're not in trouble yet. No one has approached us offering to sell us drugs. But, you know, this day is still young. Let's see if we can find this place. <laughs> All right. We have arrived at the gourmet establishment. We're and we're the, not sure if it's open. And we're the only cars in the parking lot. Okay, up we go. Hey there. I think the downstairs is much more our um, our scene. Next time we'll have to eat downstairs. We'll check it out. Well, we'll check it out when we leave. Thank you. That looks good. So. Yeah. I don't know if it's our next weekly spot. No, I would think we're still going to look around. It's probably going to be like the German place, a place we'll go back to occasionally because the food is good. Yeah. But they didn't have burgers on the menu. I no. thought that was very strange. I found it to be a very limited menu. Yeah, we'll be back. But it's not our weekly place. I think so. We're still going to be prowling around finding something new. But we will. We'll find something. Yeah. Next week we'll be somewhere new. Yes. <laughs> All right. In the meantime, we are off to Starbucks and then shopping. Starbucks and then community aid. Yeah. Catch you in a bit. All right. See ya. My poor car's wet. New balance. All right. Good. That's what I needed. <sighs> Action. All right. Well, we've come back from Starbucks. We have our coffee. All's right with the world. Yes, and it's not are... raining anymore. Yes, well, because we have Starbucks. That's right. We got our Starbucks and the rain stopped. Yes. And now like we're going into Community Aid to find some resale treasures. Oh, hopefully. yeah. And remember, this is the place where we saw that beautiful wall of lockers last time. It is. So, and I doubt also it's still here. that naked man mannequin yes. in the front. So I'm beginning to think that we have a lot of good stuff to look forward to. Oh yes, oh yes, in our walk-in. Yeah, here we yeah. go. Let's let's. All right, we'll see, see you inside. <laughs> Sue, so I'm getting your flashy blinky light for you. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. You weren't on top of your game this time. You didn't remind me to get it, but I got it anyway. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, I like that a lot. Oh, I'm taking it with me. Quick, grab the sticker. If you grab the sticker, nobody else can buy it. Great. It's mine. That'll fit in my car. The Subaru is deceptively large. I don't know, do I want it? You want it. You don't want it. That is going to make it true. The cabinet looks for Ashton. I'm sorry, we can't hear you over the carts, but it's okay. What about this? That's fun. Maybe not that fun. I'm sorry, we can't hear you over the carts. <laughs> All right, well, Sue just pointed out some really awesome mid-century glasses. Check these out. There's a set of four of these. Good eyes, Sue. They look to be in good condition. They are in good condition, and they're fun colors. I kind of like that green. That's like a mossy green. I'll grab those. Just a set of four. 
that's a good set size. I gotta start listing some of these glasses because the glasses are really starting to pile up. I also spotted this over here. I don't know how old that is. Oh, Pizza Hut, 1982. E.T. I don't even know if that's worth anything. You think that's worth anything? E.T. 1982 Pizza Hut. Well, uh, uh, we'll put it in the cart and then we'll look it up. That's one of those things. I just don't know. All right, let's keep going. Wait, is, what is this? What is this one? King Kong. No. All right, let's see what else we've got here. It's the way it looks. Oh, seductive fairy. Oh, you found yourself a kitty plate. I found myself a kitty plate. <laughs> you thought they were all gone, but you found one for five dollars. Oh, that's a steal. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. This. Oh, those are cute. Oh, you're not. I'm sorry. All right, so I've spotted a couple creamer and sugars that I like. The first being this one. Now, I don't think it's terribly old, but there's a pair here. So we're going to load that into here. Boom. And there. Oh, you! I picked the I picked those up. Yeah, and then I set those back. Do you think they're good? They're cute. I think they are more valuable than you might suspect. Really? Because I picked them up and then I set them back down, and I was like, I did. Okay. All right. You know, if you picked them up after me, then there must be something about them. So exactly. If we both grabbed them, then I'm gonna go with that. And then these are the other ones. Victoria, Austria. No, not those ones. Those are cute. I think that's it. I think that's it. I think that was here the last time we were here, so. Oh my gosh, what is this thing up here? I bet our goldfish would love that thing. That's pretty. Oh, I like that. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got a little bit of wear here. As long as it's Very not a chip. Little, no, it's just paint wear. Ooh. Oh, good. And the penguin. And the penguin. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And the penguin. He's so oh. sweet. Oh, jeez. I'm a sucker for penguins. I don't even think he's that old. And there's the deer. I just, I feel like the deer isn't all that great. The deer is just kind of meh. We are supposed to be looking for one of these that is allegedly cute, right? Yes, in strawberries. I don't see a strawberry one. I see this one. I think she's supposed to be like Miss America. I have no idea. I don't either. Dolls are creepy to me. My daughter gets that from me, I think. Sue likes dolls, but not creepy ones. Oh, that might be it. That one's kind of cute. Hmm. Not really seeing any other little creatures. Oh my gosh, what is this cat doing though? Is he like high-fiving? Is he like, hey, I'm the high-five cat? I think he is. No, that is like, you know, America's Got Talent cat. Oh, it's I'm like, saying. I just was like a tap dancing cat and this is my pose. Yes. I like it. I think he's cute. He is kind of cute, isn't he? Ooh. Gosh darn it, $2 cat. What am I thinking? Sometimes I don't know what I'm thinking. I need a new coaster, and I think if I put some little felt dots on the bottom of this, that would make a nice coaster. I'm taking this for me. All right. Oh, speaking of coasters, no, those are just too country, too country for me. I don't really see anything else. 
there's a guy making a very strange pose. I'm not sure what that pose is. We're not gonna acknowledge it. Wait, no, we are. We're gonna show Sue. Hey, Sue. What do you think this gentleman's doing? <laughs> She's biting her I tongue. I used to watch Michael Jackson do that in videos. <laughs> well, that answers that then. Yes, it does. <laughs> Action. All right, teaching moment here. A lot of people see this stuff and they say, oh, that's Rose Medallion because they see the people and they, they can tell it's Asian. This is made in Japan and it's crap. This <laughs> Thank is you among, for saying it. it. This is among the worst junk you can find. You find it all over the place. Now a piece like this, which is a hair receiver, is very tempting because you take a piece like this home and you put fragrance beads or potpourri in it and you know it, it really works well in terms of, of modern application but you could put the hope diamond in this and it's still gonna be crap so this is something you see paint all over the lines like that you see this mess walk away it's not valuable it's never going to be awesome I'm so glad I had to go back to go to the bathroom because I just came across crackle glass with a little something living in it. I'm not really sure what that is. It's sticky, but it's living in there. We'll somehow dump that out. And also this vase. I'm not really sure who makes that vase. I want to say Ellie Smith, but I'm not used to those drapery things. So wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. All right, let's go find Sue. Oh, wait a second. What is that? Oh, at first I thought those were claws. They're not claws. Let's keep going. All the way to find Sue, wherever she went to. Oh, she's in line. She's waiting for us in line. Oh no, come on, hurry. All right. Okay. Okay, here comes, not yet. All right, She-Ra Warrior Woman and her assistant. All right, this goes under the category of girls can do anything. Oh, I can get it in there. I really, sure. yeah, oh yeah, I'm good. Okay. I'm good. I was gonna carry it out here by myself. I appreciate it. Thank You're you so welcome. much. All right. Got it. Ooh. All right, fabulous. All right. Ta-da! I knew I could do it. And With no assistance at all. Well, a little assistance yes, from another customer. However, keep in mind, these are the same customers that people are afraid are gonna steal our handbags. <laughs> They're not going <laughs> to steal from us. They're going to help us move our stuff. That's right. Okay, let's get the rest of our stuff loaded in here. And we'll be on our way to Goodwill. I'm going to have to leave my cart right here. Because the door will not open. Unless he opens the door for me. No, he's just oh, getting a go. Thank you. Oh, you opened the door for us. Thank you. He doesn't care. <laughs> okay, well... We are at Goodwill now. We are parked next to a couple of people who, as Jocelyn just said, look like they're having a hard day. They all have their heads down. And oh it's my, not yes. Good. We're not gonna film them without their no. permission, oh, but no, it just but looks like they're having a really bad day. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so, we're about to head into Goodwill, see what we can find to flip for profit. <laughs> Alrighty, and we'll see you inside. See you in a bit. All right, so one of the first things I noticed when we walked into this aisle were these. And now we've talked about these before, and even though they look really super cool, they're really not worth a whole lot of money at all. Now, they're vintage leather-covered horses. Um, probably, I mean, they've got this one marked for 15. These ones are marked for 13. That's about what they're worth. So they'd be perfect for somebody who just wanted them for themselves, but there's no room there for resale. But they are really cool. They're great, you know, decor pieces. 
but they're they're actually pretty fragile but they're neat um, now I did pick up this basket over here I'm thinking for our living room it's actually pretty straight oh I didn't notice that it was broken back never mind <laughs> it's going back on the shelf here all right let's keep looking and see what we can find we've got this iris and herringbone up here um, again, that's about what you're going to get for it for resale, so not worth it. I can't believe this just happened. <laughs> you guys know I rarely ever look at the lamps when I come to this goodwill because there's like hardly ever any lamps and when they are, they're hidden. But I'm walking down the shelf and I see this. Yeah, some of you know what that is, right? That's a really nice finial attached to this lamp. This is an Aladdin lamp. It's marked right there. I had to look at the bottom. I'm like, I know it's marked. I don't even have to pretend like I don't know it's marked. I didn't actually look yet. Um, it's an Aladdin lamp and it's marked and it's not broken. Remember the last one I bought that I got home and I'm like, this thing's broken. No, in my haul video, this is not broken. It's $4 and it's got the original finial and I'm totally geeking out. All right, it's coming with us. I'm not buying any more lamps, but I am. It's like a policy that doesn't really count because I just keep going against my own policy. I'm so excited just wait till Sue sees it. She's gonna be just as excited. Now I'm gonna take a closer look at these lamps to see what I missed because I was just kind of like cruising through here like, oh yeah, okay, whatever, lamps. Got your purse lamp here. Got your 80s lamps. Oh God. Got another milk glass lamp. I hear Sue's phone. Yeah, there's really not a whole lot here in the way of lamps. There usually isn't. I'm just like walking around like, okay, I'll just look at the lamps and then there it is right on the end staring at me. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that just happened. Let's look more closely at all the lamps. What is this one? That one's no good. That one's no good. All right, over here. No good, no good, no good. Okay, I feel confident that we've seen all the lamps now and we've got a gem in our cart. Fantastic. The finial itself is probably worth $25 to $30. Right there. And then I've got these bowls. I don't know yet what I'm gonna do with the bowls. This is actually for my own house. I've been shopping a lot for my old house. You guys have noticed that. I'm decorating. I'm, I'm like making it more homey lately. Um, <laughs> but we haven't found a whole lot for resale, so let's keep looking. <laughs> Where did you find it? Oh, it's with the rest of the lamps. Oh my gosh, can you believe that? Oh. That's the first thing I saw too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Finial. And then I looked at the rest of the lamp and I was like, oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. Did you explain to me? Yes. What it is? We've talked about it before. All right, yeah. and you guys know the finial alone will yeah. go for thirty to forty dollars. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Ta-da! All right. <laughs> My little heart needs to stop going bitter. Mine was too. Yeah. Did you see these? I did. Yeah. Uh, so I figured our, I already got four glasses today. I'm gonna stick with the four I've got. Then I'm just gonna put them back. My glasses are piling up. <laughs> Those are kind of cute. Don't need more glasses. What am I saying? Let's keep going. <laughs> All right, go ahead. This is a nice piece of Art Deco era Nippon. You can see the deco lines in the pattern. And of course, we're, we're, we have side down or right side we're up? We're upside down. Uh, okay, here. Now, <laughs> now we're right side up. Yes. And of course, it's marked Nippon. Um, this is something I've been talking to you folks about for a while. It's That's currently so depressed in value, but this will go up again. So Nippon is where the good buys are right yeah. now. Yeah, well, Art Deco is making a comeback. Yes, so. and this is just a sweet piece. I like it. I love the colors. I do too. It's very nice. All right. It's too bad Nippon buying. All right, so I found a couple more things. I found this set of Miro. It is a um, canister set, and there's more canisters in there, like all the graduated smaller sizes. And then we've got the big flower size, and they don't have the lid. It's $2, there's no lid. I'm gonna take it with me. I don't know if maybe I could find the lid online to make it a complete set. I'm just gonna grab it for two bucks, because I know I can make my money back elsewhere. Uh, I found this little crackle glass cruet. 
and that's a dollar so we're gonna take that with us but you know we're not really finding a whole lot I the only thing I haven't really looked at is purses so we're gonna go check out the purses other than that I think we are done Ta-da! Right when I was about to like leave, <laughs> I found this cased orange vase, which is just delightful. I love the bright color, so that's another dollar. And then these guys, <laughs> and they have their sticker on here, right? Or what is that? Price Products, New Jersey, three bucks. Yeah, Mama and Baby Owl. Of course, yes, don't have to ask me twice. All right, I'm not really seeing a whole lot else on this shelf. Sue has already left us for the car. So obviously that's like, the, we need to hurry up. No, not really, she's not trying to drop any hints or anything, but she's done and we should probably wrap it up. All right. Let's go check out the purses and then we'll get out of here. All right, so I've actually walked by this twice and both times it has caught my eye. And now I know it's just a crude, probably uh, project piece from high school, but it's a strawberry and I like it. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's super duper heavy, so it's gonna be a pain to ship. But I do well with strawberry stuff, especially now that summer is coming. That'll do well. So we're gonna figure out a way to stuff it in the cart without breaking anything. Well, those are kind of fun. Julia and Ashman have fun with those. But that's not actually why I picked up the camera. The reason I picked up the camera is this piece right here. And you're like, well, what's so great about that? Well, I'll tell you why. If you see all the schmutz on my fingers. Oh, in my shirt. Um, fortunately, I used the bottom of my shirt and not the top of my shirt. I still feel like I'm gonna regret this. Um, <laughs> edges of this plate are actually silver and you just have to wipe away that schmutzy stuff <laughs> to see it they want four dollars for this and I really like the lines and I'm gonna take it with me cuz I like it <laughs> and it is silver even though it's really grimy and gross I'm so excited for our haul. Oh, I think the hit of the day is that Aladdin lamp for four dollars. Ta-da! And I'm like, and it's Aladdin. And then I went to turn it over, and it said Aladdin on the bottom. I'm like, I'm just kidding. I knew it was gonna say Aladdin on the bottom. I just hadn't looked yet. <laughs> oh, ta-da! So excited. Good day. Fantastic day. I'm just gonna stroke the finial. Okay. Have a good night. A little bit more. Okay. Time to check out. And this is me paying for everything and not stealing it. And while we have the camera rolling, this is not milk glass. It looks like milk glass, but it's alicite glass. Alicite. Hold a black light up to this, it will glow. Only the old formula. Well, the old formula had uranium in it. We're gonna have to do a whole video on uranium glass at some point because some of the uranium glass was up to 25% uranium, which means if you collect uranium glass and you've got pieces that are 25% uranium, you can kiss your progeny goodbye. You <laughs> All right, well, it was a pretty successful trip to the Goodwill. We got quite a few goodies, I think. The okay. Aladdin lamp was the star of this yes, adventure. It was. Absolutely. So exciting. Four dollars. <laughs> oh, great. Um, I am extremely pleased with the little deco bowl. Um, I that, like that that's a, a lot. lovely Nippon piece. Um, you got that silver plate tray. Oh yeah, that I wiped up my shirt and like yes. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna salvage it. But it's okay because like I said, I buy them at Kohl's and they're like eight bucks a piece and I'll buy like five of this color and five of this color. I just love tank tops, I can't. Uh, because Jocelyn is so fashion conscious. I am. It's like, give me that in camouflage green and I'm fine. Yes, as long as it's Converse shoes that tie it all together, I'm good. <laughs> 
I, th I think this this was a really successful outing. I the so cabinet thrilled. is great. With the cabinet. We were just talking about where that's going to go. Yes. And, but that so is happy. a beautiful mid-century piece. You don't see very many of those. In such good condition with well, the glass that's yes. not broken. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's nice. Yeah. Like I'm so excited. Oh, I think it's great for 15 bucks you guys know I've been looking for a piece like that for the sunroom and we've been looking at antique shops like looking I'm and I'm willing to spend like $200 on a piece and we walk into community gate and there it is for $15 so you just saved yourself $185 yes. and got a beautiful old piece that's great. fantastic this this was a good day good day all right well make sure you tune in tomorrow i'm going to be doing my whole video where i talk about what we spent on each of the items and how much i expect to get for them either on etsy or on ebay but i guess we'll see you we later. will we will see y'all later bye don't forget to like and subscribe and if you've spotted something that you just can't live without don't worry i've put a link to our etsy store down in the description